Well, some early season issues and some challenges reared its ugly head again for the Grand Rapids Griffins last night in a 5-3 loss here in Belleville, Ontario against the Senators. Dropping Grand Rapids to 0-4 on the road, 2-5 on the season now. Same two teams, Griffins and Senators, meet again tonight in Belleville. And we take a look with our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. Hi, everybody. Bob Kayser inside the CAA Arena, the second smallest venue in the American Hockey League with a seating capacity of just about 4,400. It wasn't kind of the Griffins here last night. Uh, at times, the play was sloppy and erratic. And boy, you look at this Griffins team, and for all intents and purposes, really, they're still in training camp. No one's fault, but the fact of the matter is, the Griffins really have been behind the eight ball since day one. Yeah, you know, we've had about nine practices, and uh, guys are still trying to find their own. Some of the young guys, where they fit, role clarity, uh, those situations. And uh, I think we're using some of the games as practices here, but uh, we need to be a little bit more dialed in, and we need to play for each other a little bit more here. You know, uh, too much individual stuff is going on, which leads to turnovers. And then, you know, if we, the bottom line is we have to start playing for each other in that locker room. Well, so much of a hockey team's success hinges on chemistry, and with all the early season moving parts, Many aspects of the Griffins game uh, has suffered, including that power play, uh, which is anything but a well-oiled machine right now. Yeah, for sure. I think there's a lot of moving parts in the power play, um, you know, trying to figure out what works. And um, I think all the guys on the on the units right now have, have done it before and has, ha have had success at it before. So I don't think that's an issue. I think it's just chemistry and, and um, you know, uh, connecting our passes and keeping things a little more simple when, when things aren't clicking. And, um, you know, I think we're going to be better tonight with, with uh, you know, we can't get much worse than last night. Well, the Griffins wound up one for five on the power play last night, uh, but gave up a shorthanded goal for the season. They are now five for 30. That ranks them 20th among 31 American Hockey League teams. Could always be worse. Cleveland's two for 29. San Antonio, three for 35. Look, it's still very early, only seven games into the season. And with all the recent roster moves on paper, this looks to be another in a long line of very good Griffins teams. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And uh, sometimes it looks good on paper, but it takes time to gel. And that's uh, kind of what we're going through right now. And um, trying to build some chemistry. It's nice that we got uh, some guys back that we can start building on things. And now we just got to do it. While the young Slovakian Patrick Rebar will make his second start of the season in goal for Grand Rapids, lost the game 5-1 in Chicago in his only other appearance. Griffin's one man over the limit in the veteran category, so Dylan McArath will sit this one out tonight. The rest of the lineup decisions were being made as of this morning by the coaching staff, so we hope you'll join us for pregame coverage on Wood Radio tonight at 6.35. We'll have all the info you need and then some leading up to the 7.05 faceoff. The rematch between the Griffins and the Senators tonight in Belleville. Thanks for joining us. That's been our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. And don't forget the Griffins back home next Friday and Saturday against Iowa and Milwaukee. I'm Bob Kayser. So long, everybody from Belleville.